No lady has had a greater influence on establishing the timeless charm of old Hollywood bombshell splendor than Marilyn Monroe. Although dozens of talented young actresses, including Michelle Williams, Lindsay Lohan, and Ana de Armas, have donned white dresses and platinum pin curls to portray the legendary star, Monroe's beauty regimen is legendary. It is studied by countless women who are still mesmerized by her dewy yet seductive appearance. Of course, Monroe has given the most light on her beauty theories and practices, and the investigation reveals more than a few well-intentioned pieces of advice. Here we break down the famous actresses and how to become more feminine like her. Which type of woman? Inquired Monroe at an interview. The majority of women have asked this question. Other women have contributed to the answers, starting with our mothers. Marilyn Monroe lacked such assistance. She had to deal with growing up primarily alone due to a mentally ill mother who could not care for her and an unidentified father. Through her beauty and body, she escaped foster care and poverty in a society where seduction and sex were the main modes of exchange, in the hopes that they would subsequently offer her what she needed. Love, respect, and safety, she utilized her good looks to satisfy men's desires. Like many other women of her generation, she sought males for approval, affirmation, and security. In particular, the woman of her time, Marilyn Monroe, personifies many conflict-ridden aspects of female life. She was too skinny, too sexual, too witty, and too much of everything, and the big screen reflected that. Marilyn served as an unnecessarily stark reminder of how heavily male and male sexuality influenced women's sexuality and sense of self. She captured her femininity in her picture, making it a persecuting ideal for many women. Illusion frequently results in idealization, and for women, the ideal woman or the idea of femininity can follow them throughout their lives. Consider how Monroe inspired the style and sensibility of an entire generation of women who, nevertheless, found it difficult to identify with what she stood for. Marilyn was objectified, depersonalized, and made fun of because she was caught up in a caricature of a woman. Few women spoke up for her because they felt threatened personally. A gorgeous, sensual rival who played to all men's imaginations, Monroe reflected fundamental feminine fears related to envy, jealousy, and competitiveness. By giving herself completely and pleading for love, she made women aware of their vulnerability in the socio-symbolic contract. Because men regarded her like a woman, while women treated her like the enemy, Monroe felt more at ease around males. She looked to follow he for a definition, but it was inadequate and constricting. Being treated like a woman does not make one a woman, rather, it creates a man's perception of a woman, which has the potential to cage her. While masculine identifications may reinforce many aspects of the female identity, validation with other women occurs quite differently since we are distinct from males because because we are physically different. The men in our life are crucial, but they cannot take the place of other women. It is not possible biologically. Women need other women to figure out who they are and what they want to be, and that's why we have compiled a step-by-step -step guide to being more feminine like Marilyn Monroe. Monroe usually had a smile on her face. Her cover is her facial hair, in fact. She wouldn't wax off the tiny coating of downy peach fuzz that caught the studio lights perfectly on her cheeks, but there's no need to grow a beard. The brilliance of Monroe can be matched with a strategically placed highlighter. For a soft and smooth glow, we like Smashbox Halo Highlighting Wand and Victoria's Secret Luminous Cheek and Face Highlighter in Showtime. We completely oppose the notion that guys prefer blonde or brunettes or mousy, but we have to admit Marilyn Monroe's career was launched by going platinum. She bleached her brown hair early in her modeling career and never returned. Monroe's platinum curls and Jean Harlow's before her were created by Pearl Porterfield, using traditional peroxide to make the actress stand out on and off screen. Don't go that racy. Instead, choose John Frieda Precision Foam Color in Extra Light Beige Blonde, which is softer and more advanced if your hair is very dark and transition gradually to a lighter shade. Researchers who study body language say that women who want to look more attractive sway their hips more. A woman's walk has two main characteristics, hip swaying and small strides. Both can be easier with high heels. See Marilyn Monroe walk in high heels and show both of the following. You can see how her fur moves that she walks with a bit of a jump. 
warning, the more sex it screams, the wider the angle and the stronger the sway. Too wide can change a woman's look from feminine to whorish. Avoid being the woman who screams sex too loudly, unless you are doing it on purpose, like as a coquettish move to dare a man to hit you hard. Here's an example of how a woman can be sexy without looking like a prostitute. The trick is to act like it's nothing special and like you're not trying to get people's attention. Monroe's sassy arched brows made a point. Brow stencils from places like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Salon can help you get the right shape. If you're worried about changing the shape of your eyebrows for the first time, go to a professional groomer. After a pro helps you get in great shape, you can keep it up. Monroe used a thin of eyeliner to draw attention to her heavy lids. She kept black and brown Elizabeth Arden showstopper pencils in her makeup kit so that she could make her eyes look like cat eyes. Copying can be easier for beginners if they use pencils with an angle. Try Pop Beauty Cat Eyes Black Olive. If you get messy, dip a cotton swab in liquid makeup remover and use it to clean it up. In 1999, Christie's sold a makeup bag Marilyn Monroe used to have for $1 million. Some of her favorite makeup and a set of Glorine of Hollywood false eyelashes were in the bag. To make your eyes look more like Marilyn Monroe's, try Ardell Fashion Lashes or Laura Mercer Full Faux Lashes that stick on their own. Tip, curl your real lashes first and you'll give the false ones something to stick to. Monroe once joked, five drops of Chanel number no. five. When asked what she wore to bed, she may have even put some of the scents in her bathwater. The rose, jasmine, and ylang ylang infused fragrance are in Oluro's Best of Beauty Hall of Fame for a reason. It's a Productive. But how will you know if you should do it? If you want to try a new scent, it's best to let it sit on your skin for 30 minutes. You might fall in love with it at first spray, but the smell might change after it's been on your skin for a while. If you still like it after 30 minutes, like Marilyn Monroe, you've found your new signature scent. Your environment matters. Your environment shapes you and tells you, or tells you not to, find and enjoy your femininity. For example, a female executive at Lockheed Martin, which makes weapon or jeep a typical male car, will find it harder to embrace her femininity than a woman who owns a hair salon or a design firm. The second one will be around more women, especially more feminine women, and surrounded by things that scream femininity. The first one will have to play down her femininity and up her masculinity, and she will always be in an environment with a lot of testosterone. In fact, the best business and career books for women that teach them how to be successful in an organization dominated by men are all about how to play the game the way men do. It can be hard to act more like a man at work and then be ready to embrace your femininity every day at 6 p.m. and every Friday night. Yes, you can be successful and female in places where men are the majority, and you can turn it off at any time, but you aren't taking the easy way out. And if you want to make it easier on yourself, you can choose places where women are more common. If you already know what you want to do for a living, here are a few more things to think about. Ballet, drawing, painting, languages, fashion, and music. I hardly ever see ladies who can pull off femininity well these days, and the number is declining steadily, and you should be happy about that. It's a fantastic chance to make a statement and establish oneself as an extremely high-class woman. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe.